For nearly 500 years after his death, 23 emperors ruled China from Yongle's masterpiece, The Forbidden City. In 1644, a new dynasty replaced the Ming, the Qing. They carried out a series of renovations to Yongle's original palace, particularly in the inner court residential areas. Today, in this maze of alleyways, courtyards, and gardens, clues can be found of what life was like in the last days of empire. Now we're in the inner court of the Forbidden City, the more forbidden part. And if you look at the colors that they've used, it really brings out all of the individual architectural features. And if we look directly above us, we can see all of the Dogon reproduced in miniature in that well in the ceiling, and then a giant golden dragon. One Qing emperor built this palace for his mother in 1736. We've got a few more creature comforts. You'll see the clock and the vases. There's a bonsai tree through there, and you can see the calligraphy either side of the door. It really gives you a sense of what life might have been like here for some of the imperial family. <laughs> 